I'm Shayla and this is Kath from Hillbilly Heaven. Thank you for visiting us at Hillbilly Heaven. We're a little farm just outside Dembula on the Burke Development Road and we raise prine lambs which we sell to the local market. I cook with local produce and our kitchen uses as much local as possible. That is really nice. So seriously, for, for someone who grew up more in the cattle industry, I just really like sheep. So we might go down and have a look at the sheep now. Yes, that seems like a really good idea. Uh, we've got 30 head of breeding ewes here at the moment. Um, we're only a small farm, we're, we're sort of starting out. We sell fat lambs uh, to Essence Whole Foods in Mareeba. I think paddock to plate is very important. My customers are very interested in where the food comes from. They want to support local farmers. This again makes the community stronger, keeps the money local. It's fresher, it's travelled less, there's low food miles. It's just an all in all good aspect of shopping. So we don't have to shear these, they self-shed. So they'll find something to yeah. rub on and they usually rub on the timber. Oh, you can see that the lambs here are, are going into the little hut. Yeah. So the lambs can walk into the creep feeder, their mothers yeah. can't. So the young lambs learn to start eating while they're still yeah. on their mum. Yeah, so these are uh, two of the younger ones that we've yeah. bred and they're on their first lamb. So most of the sheep in here are Dorper crosses and we have got some Australian white and Damara in them too. Yeah. Once our prime lambs get to uh, the correct weight, we take them up to Rocky Creek to be slaughtered yep. when they're about 45 kilos. So I guess that's probably about the weight of maybe two grade one kids. Yep, I think you're about right. What we'll do is we'll weigh a couple of the sheep uh, so that you get to see what weights they roughly are and what size they are. Here's, here's a male. So done. We might mouth them while we're over there. And with mouthing, what is that? So with mouthing, you can usually tell an approximate age on how old the lambs are. So when we send them off, we like them to be milk tooth. So yep. that's definitely under 12 months old. Yep. All those incisors, another name for teeth, are all the same height, I suppose, or length. So um, if it was a two tooth, those two front incisors would be a lot longer than the others. So she's 36.5. So they're, they're all milk. Because of the drought there, there's just a lack of lamb. So they've actually yep. extended the age um, category for a lamb, which would be a year and a half up to two yep. years of age. Occasionally, if a ewe has multiple lambs, she can't always feed all of them. And so you end up with a potty uh, that you have to feed on a bottle. How often do you feed her? So when she was first born, I used to feed her about every two hours and I'd get up during the night and feed her as well. Now that she's almost six weeks old, she has two to three bottles a day and I definitely don't get up at night and feed her anymore. Okay, we might go and have a cup of tea. Rightio, sounds like a plan. You hungry? Oh, I'm starving. We might um, cook some chops for lunch so you get to taste what our lamb's like. Here's three. They just grow wild. So our whole purpose for doing our film and for you guys visiting me today was to talk about paddock to plate. This is like more fresh and you're su supporting local farmers and families. I like to know where my meat comes from because I know that I'm not eating like processed, disgusting meat. I'm eating healthy and I'm not eating some rubbish food. We've got the tomatoes here from the garden. We got the herbs and the lime. So everything is pretty much fresh. 
Thanks girls for cooking and serving up our dinner.